Let's talk about the Viper Walls, because this is interesting. The Viper Walls on defense, you have like millions of them. The one that is being used right now is this. And then we have the, the standard Fnatic that we see, that we've seen in the past. So essentially, those are two very different Viper Walls, right? The one here, there's many retake walls that are going to do on pistol round. I personally have like three different ones that I use on split. And I'll explain you why do you use them and how. So essentially, the first, first task, you guys remember how I was explaining the functionality of utility. If one piece of utility can handle multiple functions, then it's a great utility, right? In theory. First thing that comes into mind is stopping a push with the first tempo with when the wall is active, right? That's the first function. Then second function is playing retake on site because you're able to go from heaven or from ramp while not being exposed to those angles from here. And then if you have also this wall going here, then you can also play retake by going out of CT to elbow and be a little bit more certain about your angles. And then you can use this wall as well to lurk on sewers and spawn because it cuts off some angles. And this wall can be used by different angles. Like this is one of the cases. Another one that I like to use is this one because it gives you space to like go here, check this corner without being exposed to this side. So you can check this for free and you can also spam this corner because people typically tend to stand there and you just get a kill for free. So that's one of the options. Then you have a wall that can be used from here, which is like essentially a ultra retake, very shallow in the in the side, but also in a straight line while stopping the push from here. Actually, you can use it like this, like this, which also covers elbow. Another option would be using it like like this and then the one that i use in pistol the most but only pistol rounds is this because there's a lot of players that like to just go aggressively on ranked i mean right they want to do like very aggressive burst openings on a side you can have like anti-flash position here and also what is very important the fact that you can activate the wall the fastest the viper wall activates from its start point so if the start point is closer this wall, it will be put up faster than this part of the wall. So if you have the wall like this for pistol round, which is like super fast, this wall will be up in matter of like half a second. While if you would have the wall put up in example like this, it will take like 300 more milliseconds to have this part of the wall active. Once you condition the opponents that you have the wall super active, super fast, then you don't need to do it anymore like this. You can do just this one then, or this one coming from here. Anti-flash is a position when you're being covered from the flash. So you're, you're hiding behind the wall. The flash goes here. It pops, but it doesn't affect you because you're hiding behind cover. So you can peek from the wall and get kills. And then we have the attacker's wall. This wall is, is very interesting because the way you use it, you need to abuse flashes, right? So you use this wall to cross from um, from B main to side or like backside because people from heaven will not see you. It's it kind of like similar function like a sage wall uh, in this area here. But the problem is it doesn't stop bullets, but it gives you the possibility of checking corners because right here, this doesn't look like a wall that benefits the attackers, right? It's like, why would you cover this when this is, the, this is where you need to plant, right? Well, the answer is simple because you have many angles that you need to check before going on the site. So you can go here, check this angle. You can go here, check this angle, right? You can also put a smoke in this spot, check this angle fully freely. You can also go into your smoke and then pop flash and check the backside. You can pop flash the wall and go on side and plant. So this, this wall gives you a lot of freedom of choice of what you want to do and how you want to carve around and also abuse flashes. Essentially, that's it. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.